The Nepal Cup is one of the biggest events in the Gurkha Brigade sporting calendar, but it was the pre-match entertainment that caught the eye. What better way to get a crowd in the mood for 90 minutes of football than show off the traditional game of Thelo. A sort of Nepalese version of shot put, players hold a four kilogram stone and then run a short distance before releasing. The stone thrown the furthest wins. <laughs> For the winner, the spoils. The sport is popular among the Garung community in Nepal. It's played passionately in the foothills of the Annapurna Mountains. On this occasion, the winner was Man Mountain and first timer David Lewis. <laughs> The young officer who serves with the 1st Battalion Royal Gurkha Rifles certainly enjoyed his moment of victory before he got carried away. So, as Lieutenant Lewis made his departure, it was time for the Nepal Cup finalists to arrive as one RGR and the Queen's Gurkha signals took to the pitch. With play underway, there was little to separate the teams, with few clear-cut chances. Then, just before the midway mark during the first half, a succession of free kicks for QGS led to the game's only goal. A handball outside the area was a chance to break the deadlock. Up stepped Prasant Tamang. He managed to beat the wall and the keeper with his low effort, much to the delight of his teammates. One RGR had the chance to hit back immediately. A quick break saw the ball fed into the feet of Ume Shrestha, but he scuffed his shot and the moment was missed. The second half saw one RGR push forward as they desperately searched for the equaliser. The experienced Basanta Garung picked out Shrestha once more, but this time the striker was denied by Anul Garung in the QGS goal. By now, the Bramcote-based side were clinging onto their slender advantage. Lamtari beat the keeper with his free kick, only to be thwarted by the crossbar, and the attack petered out. With just minutes to go, could one RGR level the scores and send the game into extra time? Santosh Garong fizzed his shot just wide of the target. That was the Shawncliffe side's final chance. Seconds later, the referee blew the whistle to kickstart jubilant scenes as the Queen's Gurkha signals held out for a famous win. This is everything for us. I mean, we've worked hard for about two, three months now, and then this has been a process that's been going on for three or four years. So this is the culmination of it, and to, to be winning this, it's, it's an absolute thing. You're a relatively small unit, and you're up against one of the giants of, of the Gurkha units. So you know, talk us through it. What was the mindset going out there? It was so we knew we were one of the best teams going ahead technically. All we, all we needed to do was ma match the mental capacity, so we trained trained very hard, we, we knew we had to fight it, so we, we had that mentality going all the way through. You soaked up the pressure and then chances came on the counter-attack, couldn't find that second goal, so you were hanging on. Yeah, we were hanging on, we, we were quite close as well and they had their chances as well. And it was just that kind of game, you know, whoever took the lead and it was, it, it was always going to be a tight game. Well, tell us, what does this mean for your unit? For So, this is one of the three ma major events, so to be winning this, it's, it's an absolute Absolutely, because of every every single one of the members of the Colton, and we're sure that everyone here is delighted for us winning the trophy as well. Well, congratulations! You know you've got to come back next year and yeah. try and defend it. Yeah, <laughs> we are going to come back, defend it. Not next year, but every other year, every year that we come back, we're going to come back with the same hunger, same desire, and just watch out for us. So a first title in seven seasons for QGS as they are crowned the Pool Cup champions for 2019. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot.